हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ बेसिक सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट लिनियर मेजरमेंट आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लिनियर मेजरमेंट सेकेंड वील सी डिफरेंट मैथड ऑफ लिनियर मेजरमेंट एंड थर्ड we will see approximate methods of linear measurement so let us start with the first objective that is introduction of linear measurement in surveying the location of various object on the surface of earth can be obtained by the horizontal distance between them which is required to measure in the field the method of determining the distance between various point on the surface of earth is called the method of linear measurement in surveying the distance between two points means horizontal distance as a map plotted in horizontal plane the distance shown are horizontal projection on this plane so initially if the distance is measured inclined but it is reduced in horizontal plane it is converted it is converted into equivalent horizontal distance so on sloping ground distances are required to equivalent horizontal distances for the preparation of map so in linear measurement all the measurements are taken on horizontal plane now let us see different methods of linear measurement first method of linear measurement is approximate method second is using the chain or tap the third one that is optical means and the last is using electromagnetic distance measuring instrument that is called edm in this lecture we will see the approximate method of linear measurement so let us start it these are different approximate methods of linear measurement the very first method that is pacing second method is using pacometer third method is using pedometer the next method is using the odometer and the last method is using speedometer so let us see one by one the first method that is pacing in this method surveying walks along the line to be measured and count the number of step so here you can see one person is walking and if the distance between these two points are to be measured the number of step will be counted by the person then the distance measured is equal to number of step into average length of one step average length of one step can be obtained by walk along the known distance normally a man takes step of length 0.75 meter to 0.8 meter the second method that is using pacometer in this method a pacometer is used that's why it is called pacometer method a pacometer is a watch like equipment as you can see here which is carried vertically in pocket of shirt or it is tied to a leg as you can see here the pacometer counts the number of step taken and it records so in this method there is no need of remembering the step taken by a person so we can say the problem of counting number of step is eliminated in this method the next method is pedometer pedometer is instrument similar to pacometer but it can record the distance instead of number of step so in pedometer instead of number of step the distance is measured so it is attached similarly as pacometer in this zero setting and setting of step length is made before walking so before starting the surveyor need to set zero 
and he has to set the average step length. The next method is odometer. This instrument is attached to the wheel of cycle or other vehicle. Here you can see a small equip a small instrument is attached here with the wheel. This instrument records the number of revolution made by wheel. So by knowing the circumference of wheel, the distance travel may be obtained. The next method is speedometer. Odometer calibrate to give distance directly that is called speedometer. This is to be used particularly for vehicle only. All automobiles are provided with speedometer. By running the vehicle along the line to be measured, the distance can be found. So all these methods are approximate method of linear measurement. Here you will not get the perfect distance. However, it will be very useful when you have to measure the distance roughly. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to ask anything, if you have any doubt, please write in the comment box. I will definitely contact you. Thank you. Thank you very much.